When a narcissist thinks they're done with you, why they betray you? The next section talks about the very bad effects that narcissistic abuse has on the body. So, I'd like you all to keep up with me. Few people can really understand what it's like to be hurt by a narcissist. Why? Considering how few people have had to deal with a narcissist in real life, then they'll start asking things like, why did you stay so long? What do you think kept you from seeing this coming? And a lot of questions that go with it. These questions are isolating because they make people doubt the truth of what they've been through after a traumatic event. You keep asking yourself, am I overreacting? Should I stop getting upset about small things? Am I the one who's going crazy? You are not. It's for your own good, I promise. I'll also explain why this is the case. I will talk about five warning signs that your relationship with a narcissist is not healthy. To show that you like this channel's content, click subscribe and then the bell icon. By subscribing, you won't miss any updates and can do a lot to help us out. So I guess we should get going. First of all, you don't really understand who they are. At first, a narcissist will treat you with kindness and care, but as their power grows, their true colors will show and you'll see a monster you never knew existed. This monster doesn't stay around for long though, and this nice guy shows up again. They never tell you who they really are, and they move around all the time, so you can always see them. It's frustrating to have to change your thoughts and feelings all the time because of this instability. Both the good and bad feelings you have at different times are wrong, and vice versa. Healthy relationships don't change who either person is at their core. The relationship between Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde doesn't change in a way that can't be explained. But you never know what a narcissist will do. One moment they might be mean and distant, and the next they might be kind and angelic. It's hard for the mind to understand how the same person who brings you the most happiness can also cause you the most pain. So there's confusion. Do you really think they are self-centered? If that's the case, what good did it do them? You might wonder why they were perfect for your relationship at that time. Inquiring like that doesn't belong in a healthy relationship. Why can't you make up your mind about the person you were with? In other words, are you sure you know who they are? If you've been through something similar, sharing your thoughts in the comments section might help other survivors realize they're not alone. You also know you should get away from the narcissist, but you can't because of how you feel. This is because you can never guess how a narcissist will act because they are always changing. Just being in the narcissist's presence makes your brain and body produce chemicals that make you want to be with them. You keep looking for this person, even though you know that spending time with them is bad for you. They don't want to hurt you because they want you to be healthy. Instead, it's your nervous system that makes them do it. You want to be really close to other people. As soon as you started getting to know them, you felt like you already knew them. Even though you want to be with them, you would rather be alone. Normal relationships don't work like this. Even if it hurts, sometimes you just have to break up with someone who isn't right for you. But you might as well be locked up when you're with a narcissist. You know you have to move on, but there's a part of you that still wants to hold on to something that's obviously going to fail. Think good thoughts about the fact that you can't quit. I hope they realize what a terrible mistake they are about to make. No matter how hard you try or how much time passes, nothing ever changes. In fact, things are getting worse. Third, you're going through a lot of pain and sadness in your mind. When a narcissist hurts you, you lose both the person you were and the person you wanted to be. This makes it harder to grieve. Your hopes for a better future with this person have been broken and it hurts. You're miserable because you've given up so much for this relationship, like your time, love, career, money, children, and so on. 
Seeing how easy it was for them to use you and trick you during your time with them makes you sad. For many people, their deep sadness comes from the emotional pain of being lied to. Because their love bombing wasn't working, they betrayed you at the worst time. Always, someone turned on you. They got you to think that the way you thought was right. When they left you alone with the wolves, they broke their promise to you. Then it's clear that the pain you've been going through is right. In a happy marriage, nothing like this would ever happen. You're sad, but it's not the end of the world. It takes time and work to get over the pain of being betrayed by a narcissist. Grief makes you feel a lot of different, complicated things. 4. This really surprises you a lot. You can't understand how terrible people can be unless you've seen it for yourself. Someone has taken something from you, lied to you, and made you believe a beautiful lie. Instead of giving us a good night's sleep, they gave us bad dreams. With their introduction, they have completely turned your world upside down, which has thrown you for a loop. You can't believe that they have a bad side. You can't imagine that someone could change that much, or that they could be nothing but a lie. When such terrible things happen, it's natural to wonder how strong you really are. When something like this happens, it's normal to second-guess yourself and wonder if you're the one who missed something obvious. You are a total idiot for missing this clear chance to end the surprise. The truth about narcissists and your relationship with them is that they are cold, cruel, and trap you. It doesn't seem likely that this is all an act. There was no honesty, openness, closeness, or feeling of family. Everything was just a cruel game with your life that they played. No one will be able to put themselves in your place and try to figure out why someone would act this way. This is number five, the next to last one. The most recent one is that you have signs of PTSD, which isn't often linked to trauma from narcissistic abuse. You have trouble sleeping, eating, getting started, being overly alert, always being tired, having emotional and visual flashbacks, separating from the present, and focusing. Disorders of the mind, body, or hormones, like irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, fibromyalgia, multiple sclerosis, or hypothyroidism, are not included. Abuse by a narcissist makes it harder to get better because it can cause strange symptoms like cognitive dissonance, trauma bonding, and Stockholm's syndrome. When a healthy, normal relationship ends, no one feels this way. As soon as a temporary bad mood passes, you start to feel better. You have to forgive yourself and them in order to move on with your life. That's the end of the story, full stop. We don't have time to waste. We need to move forward right away. There are no loose ends left. There are a lot of things to think about when ending a relationship with a narcissist. Your body and brain will change to help you stay alive if you have a partner who is very demanding and stressful. And that makes your whole body and brain feel stressed. They would eventually get tired, which would cause a whole new set of health problems. When you have both unusual and common trauma symptoms, it's clear that the person you were with was very sick. There were also a number of other problems. You've been through a lot of hard things. Before I end this episode, I'd like to know which of these signs you relate to the most. Leave your best guesses and ideas in the comments. The episode for today is over. As a stopgap, let's make our health the most important thing. Please come back and watch the next video with us. Have you ever had a friend who nice one minute? The man and the stand the next, it told to deal with, isn't it? But have you ever heard of narcissist abuse? It's when someone does this to you on purpose and it can have some very bad effects on your mind and body. In this video, we're going to talk about the warning sign of a narcissist relationship and how to get out of it. The first sign in it that you don't really understand who they are. A narcissist will trick you 
kindness, care, but as their power grows, their true colors will show, and you'll see a monster you never know exists. This monster doesn't stay around for long, so and this nice guy shows up again. They never tell you who they really are, and they move around all the time so you can always see them. The second sign is that you know you should get away from the narcissist, but you can't because of how you feel. This is because just being in their presence makes your brain and body produce chemicals that make you want to be with them. You keep looking for this person even though you know that spending time with them is bad for you. The third sign is that you are going to a lot of pain and sadness in your mind. When a narcissist hurts you, you lose both the person you were and the person you wanted to be. Your hopes for a better future with this person have been broken and it's hard. The fourth sign is that this really surprised you a lot. You can't understand how terrible people can be unless you have seen it for yourself. If you are going through any of these things, you are not alone and there is a way out. It takes time and work to get over the pain of being betrayed by a narcissist but is not the end of the world. Remember what you deserve to be treated with kindness and respect and you have the power to choose who you around yourself with. So be strong and take care of yourself. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click like, share and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.